Hey guys, Jake from Hellraiser right, Airsoft. Uh, today we got a little, we got an unboxing or unpackaging, unboxing, whatever video. Um, and we also did, uh, we got, or whatever you want to call it, I don't have a name in the description. Uh, uh, for, it's an order for my fully upgraded Well MBO5. Well, I shouldn't say fully upgraded. The only thing I haven't upgraded was the piston. And with the really heavy spring I have in it right now, I'm afraid that the piston is going to snap. In fact, it's not held up very well. It's actually starting to, you can see the uh, chunks being taken out of it. It's real small, like scratches and stuff from the sear. Uh, real normal stuff, but it's happening pretty rapidly. So I'm going to make a new one in this video. Uh, and I'm going to fast forward at high speed, but I am going to do a separate video of the full making of the piston. So, while I'm doing this, so in our package, we got my trigger box because I lended it to a friend and he broke the trigger box. Um, and we have a bag of what I believe is BBs, um, which actually these are my favorite BBs ever. They're cheap and they're super accurate. Oh. The same as well. Oh, oh. We got two bags of 0.3 gram Metal Tech Extreme Precision BBs. These are the best freaking rounds ever. I love them. They're awesome. They just fly super straight. Best BBs I've ever had. And guess what? If you go on a website called uh, hitguns.com, you can buy these for uh, 6,000 rounds of 0.3 gram metal tag BBs for 18 bucks. That's on sale right now. Normally they cost like 24 or 26 or something like that. And I tell you what, these are freaking awesome BBs. Um, so yeah. Now we got our video done um, with our BBs and our trigger box. We're going to install this. We are going to make the uh, piston and we're going to put it all together and we're going to shoot it. Alright guys, so we got the old piston, the new piston all assembled together, um, spring guide, stock spring guide actually, I'm just going to leave it, it doesn't really matter. It's a little spacer to give me a little bit more oomph out of my spring, and um, so yeah, you can compare the two. This one's, I don't have the notches in it, and it actually spun in the chuck, so you can see it got a little screwed up during, through the middle, but oh well, um, I didn't realize it was spinning. But, uh, I think these are just there for strength because this is a believed to be a nylon piston. It's either nylon or no. I'm gonna go with polymer. It's probably a polymer piston. Um, so yeah, we got the threaded same head in there. Uh, you can see I had to put a new screw in there because the other one broke and I had to drill it out of the hole. So yeah, we even got the hole going in the back. This slides in there. Fully, just like that, easily. Uh, I think this is gonna work out good. I'm thinking about cheesing it, or Swiss cheesing it. 
but I think I'll stick with it like this for now to, to just see how it holds up. So yeah, um, next time you see me we'll be making a new cylinder head. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Now let's install this thing. Alright, so all you need for this really is just a screwdriver, the rest you can do by hand. So uh, we're gonna take our spring guide, drop it in our piston, like so. So it's in there. Um, put our spring in there. Slide this on there. On the truth. This it fits. Pop that piston in there, slide the cylinder head on, like so. Um, I'm trying to tighten up this thing. I'm gonna go stick this in the vise real quick. Okay, so we got that tightened down. Now you're gonna take your bolt, shove it in there. Um, actually, I'm gonna go stick some lubricant on this. So I lubricated it with uh, Tri-Flow, um, and it's actually for like bicycle change and stuff, but I really just don't care. It's a real light oil, it's uh, kind of like silicone, um, in my opinion, so that's what I use on this gun. So, uh, oh boy, um, we'll be right back. We gotta find some screws. Alright, so we got a screw here, that goes in there, and one back there. Um, so basically, all you're gonna do, is you're gonna show it this. Is you're gonna take this, this thing that sticks up here lines up with this rectangular hole. This one lines up here, it's just like a little, you know, a square hole fits in a square hole. Or a square, a square, or a square fits in a square hole, and a triangle fits in a triangle hole. A circle doesn't fit in a square hole. So, you're gonna take this, carefully set it in there, jiggle it in place, and then make sure that this lip right here is facing back towards the back of the gun, and, it's, and you're probably gonna have to use something to kind of tap it in. Um, so, just kind of give it a little tap so it's in. Um, just be careful though, if you're like me and you have a polymer piston, um, it is not going to be too great for that, but it don't matter because I'd probably just make one out of steel. Um, so yeah, I mean like that piston is going to last just as long as any, any of that AR or RA tech crap. Um, and my spring guide that I will do in a separate video whenever this one breaks, um, will be better than any of that AR or RA tech crap too. Oh, 
Oh, for the love of God, I already put it in there. Funny. Huh. Um, so you guys can comment how much I'm eating, right? And now we have a safety again, a working safety. That was awesome. So, uh, yeah. See, what happened is I gave this gun, or I traded this gun to a guy, and he destroyed it. I had an extended barrel. It was a 550 millimeter barrel. He destroyed it. He cut off the barrel with, like, a Dremel or something like that. The accuracy was terrible because the end of it had burrs on it, and that resulted in BBs hitting the burrs and throwing off the BBs. Um, and I gave it, I traded him, like, he gave me, like, six different, or three different guns for this. He gave me, naked, or no, he gave me two. He gave me a Classic Army M4 carbine and, and, GNG RK-47 for it. Then he turned around and then did all that crap to, to it, put the uh, orange chip on it, got really extended barrel, and then turned around and was trying to sell it for 80 bucks. So I decided to buy it back. So let's install this into the rest of the gun. And so what you're going to do is just set the barrel of the gun back in what's supposed to sit. Roll it in. And you're going to tighten up the two screws in here. Hammer's about to die, so we're going to finish this up. Um, and there we go. So. Perfect. Works good. Can't wait to shoot it. Alright guys, we're not going to do a shooting test today because it's already like 10 o'clock at night, so it's all dark out, and um, so you'll just have to check out all my other videos, my gameplay videos that will be coming up soon with that, I'll have some sniping videos, hopefully with it, um, and you guys can check that out if you guys want to know how it shoots, maybe I'll do a shooting test pretty soon here, um, but I'm going to have to fix my cylinder head first, so yeah. Uh, so this is Jake from Howard's Airsoft, and I'll see you guys later.